I was born in, in London, in England, in September 1935. And uh, at the outbreak of war in 1940, we had to move away from London. My father's business moved out to get away from the bombing. And so we moved to the West Country, to a village outside Cheltenham, which is, Cheltenham is a very beautiful 19th century spa town, which was very fashionable in the 19th century and had fallen on slightly on hard times, but it still had a certain elegance to it. Uh, but we lived really in the country in a little village up on the top of the hill. And so I spent most of my childhood running around what was called Cleve Hill, which was a probably 10 square miles of rolling grassland. It was sheep grazing land, had been for many hundreds of years. It was common land, which meant that anybody could graze their sheep on it. Uh, interspersed with uh, small woodlots, which probably were used for wood for burning in fireplaces. And uh, then little villages, uh, like the one we lived in, which was a cluster of houses. Funny mixture of, of quite old, probably 17th or 18th century stone cottages and 19th century houses that were almost certainly built for people who worked in down in the town of Cheltenham, which was quite a busy and, and successful commercial city. Some people obviously even then in the 19th century liked to live outside of town, and so that they built a number of these houses. And we lived in several of them because during the war years, it was very hard to get a permanent place to live. You would move in, and then six months later, the the owner of the house would say, sorry, my son's coming out of the army. He needs the house, you'll have to leave. So we moved from one cottage to another and some of some pretty awful environments that we lived in briefly, sharing, uh, sharing with other people that we didn't particularly like, but, but it, was a, it was an interesting experience. 